hello you're welcome how to solve this nice algebra equation solution from here to find the value of x and y which are members of positive integers then from what we have here we can write it from difference of two square when we have a square minus b square do the same thing as a plus b into brackets open bracket a minus b that is all we have here becomes x plus y into brackets open bracket x minus y then equals to 65 on this side and since x and y are member of positive integer it implies that x plus y should be greater than x minus y then when we separate 65 into two factors the possible factors we have 65 times 1, or we have 1 times 65, or we have 13 times 5, or 5 times 13. And following this, the first number should be greater than the second number. When we consider that here, yeah, this satisfies the condition, and this will not, this will satisfy, and this will not satisfy. So we have two cases here. Let's consider the first case as case 1, which is 165 times 1. It implies we can rewrite this equation now, and we have x plus y into bracket, open bracket x minus y equals to 65 times 1. That is here the first bracket is 65 we have x plus y equals to 65 and the second bracket is 1 that is x minus y equals to 1 then we can solve these two equations simultaneously when we had we eliminate y x plus x that's 2x equals to 65 plus 1 that's 66 and we divide both sides by 2 divide there by 2 so divide this side by 2 2 cancelled each other this becomes x equals to 66 over 2 that's 33 then we can find the value of y from this second equation that is we have x minus y equals to 1 then x now which is 33 minus y equals to 1 then taking 1 to this side, minus y there, becomes 33 minus 1 equals to y. That is 33 minus 1, that's 32 equals to y. And therefore, y equals to 32. And you can write out the solution here, form of x comma y, which is equals to 33. 32. Now let's consider the second case as well. As this we consider here as a case 2, which is 13 times 5. Then this equation now can be written as x plus y into brackets, open bracket x minus y, now equals to 13 times 5. That is, the first bracket here is 13, and we have x plus y equals to 13, and the second bracket is 5, that's x minus 5, x minus y equals to 5. Also, we solve these two equations simultaneously. When we had the we eliminate y, x plus x has 2x, then equals to 13 plus 5, that's 18. Now, when we divide both sides by 2, divide this side by 2, Divide this over to 2 cancel each other here. We have x here equals to 9. Then also we get the value of y. And use the second equation, which is x minus y equals to 5. And x does 9. We have 9 minus y equals to 5. Also taking 5 here minus y there. We have 9 minus 5 equals to y. And 4 equals to y. Which implies y equals to 4. Also, we have the value of x and y here. When we write it as x comma y, 
this is equals to 9,4. Then, here in these solutions, we have two sets of solutions. The first one, x1, y1, that's equals to 33, 32. And also, we have x2, y2, and that's equals to 9,4. Okay? Then we can check if this satisfies this given problem by substituting the first solution here as x is 33, y is 32. This equation becomes 33 squared minus 32 squared is it equals to 65 on this side. And 33 squared means 33 times 33. Now we multiply that 33 times. 3 times 3, 9, also 3 times 3, 9, 3 times 3, 9, also 9. We had this, and we have 9. This is 18. Write 8, take 1. This is 10 now. So we have 1089 here, yeah, then minus. Also 32 square, that's 32, then 32 here. Yeah. We have 2 times 2, 4, 2 times 3, 6, 3 times 2, 6, 3 times 3, 9. When we have, we have 4. This is 2, then this is 10 as well. 1024. Is it equals to 65 here? When we subtract, I subtract here. So 1024. When we subtract, 9 minus 4, that's 5. 8 minus 2, 6. Then this becomes 0, 0. So here we have 65. As this this side is 65 which is equals to 65 here and therefore we have left hand side equals to the right hand side that is this first solution here satisfy this given equation also we substitute the second solution here which is 9,4 and the equation we have here becomes 9 square minus 4 square is equals to 65 on this side. And we have 9 square, 9 times 9, that's 81 minus 4 square, 4 times 4, 16. Is equals to 65 from here. And 81 minus 16, that will give us 65, which is equals to 65 here. Also, left hand side equals to the right hand side, and therefore, we conclude that the second solution here, name number four, satisfies the given problem as well. And thank you for watching. Don't forget this step subscribe for more videos, turn the notification bell, share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comments. See you next class, and bye for now.